Welcome to the Phone Suite console training series. These videos are organized to allow you to view the entire series in five short lessons. This is lesson one, getting to know your Phone Suite console. The remaining lessons are basic call handling, basic guest settings and functions, advanced call handling, and advanced guest settings and functions. Phone Suite is more than just a phone. It is useful for answering and transferring calls. It's also the simplest tool available for verifying and changing guests' privacy, wake-up call, and phone settings. Let's get familiar with Phone Suite now. The Phone Suite console has several separate parts. We'll look at each of these in detail later, but let's get a quick view of them now. At the left of the console are the handset and cradle, where the handset rests when you aren't using it to talk. To the right of the handset is the busy lamp field, an array of lights that indicate which phones or lines are in use. Below the busy lamp field are the guest function buttons. These are used to check or set many of Phone Suite's unique guest and room settings. At the top right of the console is a small display that changes depending on what you are doing with the console at each moment. Surrounding it are four call buttons used to answer calls, to make calls, and to place or retrieve callers on hold. Below the display is a standard phone keypad. This keypad is used when making calls, transferring calls, or entering information and guest settings. To the right of the keypad are a unique set of keys labeled A, B, C, and D. These are known as command keys, used for a variety of call handling and data entry purposes. In many cases, the display above these keys will give a hint about which of these keys to use. Finally, there are connectors and switches on the side and back of the console that, once set correctly, should not be touched again. On the left side of the console is a small jack for connecting the handset cord. Use this connector if you add a standard handset. To the right of that is an assembly screw. Just to the right of that is a small hole that accepts a slotted screwdriver. This can be used to adjust the display on the front of the phone suite console. On the back of the phone suite console are two different sized jacks and one set of dip switches. These switches are only used by your phone suite installer, and once they're set correctly, don't need to be touched again. In most cases, all of these switches will be set in the down position, as shown here. The larger of the two jacks is for a cable that connects the console to the phone suite cabinet, or PBX. The console must be connected correctly to the PBX using this jack in order for the phone to operate. Next to this jack is a smaller jack, a spare connector that can be used to attach a phone to the console as a backup handset. Use this only when no other console handset option is available, and be sure to change the dip switches to the appropriate settings. Like most hotel phone system consoles, the handset cradle does not have a hook switch. The command buttons are used to complete or end a conversation. Because of this, you can set the handset down anywhere, but the cradle is certainly convenient. The busy lamp field is eight rows of ten buttons each, which show the status of up to 64 guest or other phones and up to 16 lines or trunks from the phone company. The rows can be labeled by your certified phone suite installer to better match the room numbering in your hotel. The lamps in the first six rows plus four lamps on the seventh row are off when the guest phones they represent are not in use. When lit solid, this indicates a particular guest phone is in use. Blinking lamps indicate that the message indicator on that phone has been turned on by a guest setting or by the voicemail system. The 16 trunk lamps are on the bottom two rows and are labeled 1 through 16. Like the phone lamps, these lamps are off when the trunk is idle, and on solid when the trunk is in use. At any time, a quick look at the trunk lamps gives an idea of how many lines are in use at that moment. But unlike the phone lamps, a blinking trunk lamp is an indication that there is something wrong with that line from the phone company, and your certified phone suite reseller should be contacted to provide troubleshooting. The guest function buttons are used to confirm or change any of the most common guest or phone settings, such as checked-in status, dialing permission, wake-up calls, and more. Details of these functions are covered in the lesson on basic guest settings and functions. The three buttons on the right of this area, however, have system functions. The Reset Console button is used to provide full power cycle to the console without having to unplug it or reset the entire phone system. Whenever the console is plugged in or reset, the volume will be at maximum. Use the volume up and down buttons to adjust the volume. Each time either of these buttons is pressed, the current volume level is played briefly. Note that at minimum volume, no sound is heard.
The console display is used to provide information about phone calls in progress, as well as guest settings. The display changes based on what you're doing with the console at the time. The four call buttons are used to handle up to four simultaneous calls. When on a call, the button that represents your current conversation is lit solid. When a call is on hold, the button will be blinking. Instructions on using these buttons to answer, transfer, and make calls are provided in the next lesson, Basic Call Handling. The dial pad is a standard telephone dial pad. Remember, however, that the dial pad is also used when changing guest settings. For example, to enter the time of a guest wake-up call. Notice that the bottom right key, sometimes called the pound or hash key, is also labeled enter. When instructed to press enter during these training sessions, this is the key to press. Finally, the four function buttons are used as part of call handling and guest settings, as well as for setting programming options, which should only be done by your certified phone suite installer. Which of these buttons to press and when is covered in the following lesson.